leaves the water too quickly. Something, something along those lines. Three, that being said, two, you know, jumping one, into game one, we're go. gonna be seeing Apollo and Kankan. Um, you know, going Duck Hunt and Palutena respectively. Yeah, so Apollo has been like, Apollo coming off that Samsora win that apparently he doesn't consider like a proper win because Wi Fi, which, you know, yeah, fair. But Apollo still is like, he's started taking like some, they have started taking some really good wins lately. I'm sorry, I messed up. You know, I don't really love it. No, no, absolutely. Apollo has been, you know, on the grind for a while. Apollo has like such a good mindset about the game, able to convert the clay pigeon into the aerial, getting a little bit of damage. Um, the way that they're able to just like treat like Doc Hunt actually is like really, really crazy. Oh my god, that clay so pigeon. Sorry. This There's so no cycles outside of my home. Um, I can't hear it, just, but I'm sure someone will call it out. Yeah. That being said, yeah, able to engage back onto the stage and just barely living the back here. I like the way that he's using the can just to, uh, they're using the can just to give themselves a little bit more coverage as they're going back to stage. Um, but, you know, back here, of course, gonna be taking the stock. Good ledge trapping on uh, Kankan's part. That was really good. Uh, Apollo noticed, like, you know what? I just need to burn out my can at that point. It's not worth for me to go rush and try to hit it back. So they just. Okay. Woohoo! Kankan. I like Kankan's patience, like, thus far. And that. I uh, just barely avoiding that. I can't. Yeah, but not that one. That can just, like, spawn. Flame one. Kankan barely air dodging. Almost was able <laughs> to land and shield on time. Just gonna get that air dodge snuffed out by the up air. I don't. And mind you, this is a pretty difficult matchup for Duck Hunt. Um, I feel I like a lot of, I feel like in a lot of ways, like Duck Hunt's just advantage in a matchup and, and just like getting back to the stage, um, and also initiating just might be super super difficult against Palatina. Yeah. They like Apollo. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Apollo! They meant to uh, like shoot the can upwards, like without the, it was something like that. Yeah, um, but just slightly mistimed it. So unfortunate. That's so, that's so unfortunate. Like, just like, this last stock has been like, so rough on Apollo. Mm -hmm. That being but said- But can come ooh. again glitch, as per usual. Can is such a ridiculous projectile. It is, it can be like, so tricky and so finicky, but definitely like, rewards really smart, really patient, really thoughtful play. Um, honestly, the can is only as good as the user, in a lot of ways. Yeah, it definitely, um, it's definitely a move where you don't, it's definitely a move where a lot of the uh, utility of it comes from the player. Like, try to use it in, like, interesting ways and how they place it. Uh, mm -hmm. And if they don't, if you don't use it properly, like, it really makes Duck Hunt a significantly more, a significantly worse character overall. Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly one of his best options, but God, the explosive flame. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, yeah, that's actually really unfortunate second stock for Apollo. Um, you know, obviously nobody wants to SD like that. I think this matchup is still going to be really possible for them with Duck Hunt. I won't be too surprised if we do see, like, the Lucas switch, or, or the Rosalina switch, or is, the Pac-Man switch. Does Apollo play Rosalina? As of last week. Why is Apollo just picking up these random characters? Just like... I, I don't think Apollo likes them, so. Like, 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 it must be, you know... <laughs> I just, I just hope it's a self hatred thing. Huh? It's self, you're saying it's a self hatred thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, man. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Zane, they said, like, this is the way they like to play the game. This is how they enjoy it. Right? This is how they have fun. And so that, you know, God's I mean, I don't know. This character, this character choices. No, I have fun in Ultimate. Help me. Did you see my DDD tweet? Yeah, you're weird. Why? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're into? Is that what you like? <laughs> <laughs> Only on Twitter. Only on Twitter? Only on Twitter.com? Yeah, it's my Twitter persona that I'm trying to build. That, that, that. Why? That. Okay, we're going to I PS2. Know. They're staying the game. <sighs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> Devin making the correct choices. Wait, did Devin actually unfollow me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, a long time ago. No way. I do not believe it. Yeah, he's 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 having conversations about this. Two, one, 
Go! I think it was around the time you started uh, your 4 p. It's 4 p.m. Um, Wait, phase. what is Seven sweating? What's Seven sweating? Um, what's it? If you can't figure out, if you can't figure that out, okay, uh, then that's your own fault. But you know, whatever. Uh, Just the quitting so shall go get them. Really Zane bad. with the awesome start. <laughs> Zane with an incredible start. Immediately like getting a, a good 86% on Con Con. But he's sh they're being forced onto the ledge. Don't look, don't go looking for Devin Switter. <laughs> No, I'm not. I was just trying to find a way to talk about the funny video game. I like the way that Apollo has been using the can, like, to sort of, like, two flame teleport a couple. He tries to go for the down air, but jumps to the ledge a little bit too soon. That gunman, so, like... I don't know, that two action made me a little bit uncomfortable. I just love the way that the can is, like, slowly inching back towards Palutena. Yeah, no, the can just, like... It's just, it's just menacing, honestly. It just moves like in a menacingly. Me Parabolas are menacing. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Clay Pigeon is like is definitely like the, the body of Duck Hunt's early like combo game. Well, I, I think, think the late the, combo game. Mm -hmm. I love the use of the um, gunman like to cover the ground after the foil. That was so nice because then Apollo was just like able to position himself to cover the platform. However, the jump gonna get called out with the back kick successfully. Right now, Kong Kong just looking to get a little something started. Um, just like sort of waiting for Apollo to burn out a couple of resources before he jumps in himself. That's a double oh. play pigeon into the down air. Goes through the second one, but that's not going to be necessary because Apollo can't go that far up. I want to call out that crazy use of the can. Not specifically to like blow it up on top of Kong Kong, but to hopefully extend Zane's down air a little bit longer at the ledge and hopefully get that second spike. To get the two frame, that was so so smart. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessary, but it was smart. Oh! Wow! He dead. Yeah, and honestly, that was like the first time I did see Apollo go from uh, go from ledge. So Con Con was on some next level condition. They just like the first time that he covers it, he actually does get the punish for it. Yeah, no. It's like sometimes you you're waiting for that one moment where it actually that conditioning actually ends up being massive. Mm -hmm. Because most players, if uh, they'll get hit by something maybe once or twice before they stop giving it to you, and you want it to be at times when you actually, when it actually has value, you get it. Oh, that's gonna stock? be a play pigeon. I can't tell if that's back or forwarder. That's back air. That's back air. Hey, back air. I'm pretty sure back air is stronger. Yeah, it's a raw back air. Mm. I'm curious if any of them, uh, if anyone is like particularly faster than the other. I think it's the fact that back air is stronger than the forward air. Mm -hmm. You can see the replay on stream. Uh, Clay Pigeon into back air. Just did that from super deep. That's one thing that Apollo is really good at is when is that they can tell really well when Clay Pigeon is going to connect into a position where you can actually get like where they can get a lot of reward for doing it. Mm -hmm. And that's really important, especially like in this matchup with this character who. They have really good ranged options, but not but they're not all super strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I just checked. Um, back hit is a little bit stronger. It does a couple of extra percent, so it oh, probably okay. has more knockback as well. I a think little Florida, bit stronger. Yeah, I think Florida just simply would not have killed. Yeah. yeah I don't think but, um I don't think knockback scales linearly. Kind of like it goes up exponentially based on percent. Mm -hmm. It's so, like every a little move, bit of percent. Every move has its own like little funny. Quick. Yeah. Ooh, maybe. Okay. Everyone, because Palutena can do the same thing with neutral air, but that can actually coming out. I do think that didn't necessarily come out to Apollo's favor. Um, I think I think you know the can trade like would have put him just about the same percent had the four of them connected. Um, I love the fact that like that Apollo puts out the gunman and is immediately like, yeah, you're probably gonna jump. I'm just gonna fill the space right here and hope that you jump into it, and then they do. Okay. That's fine, yeah, shoot Pommel into can, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, I think that Apollo inputted direction, but did attack twice by mistake. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot to people. Yeah, because Apollo might have been like looking to get the grab on me, but that being said, right now, trying to find the juggle on Kon Kon. The can right now is primed to go in the direction of Kon Kon. You see him just like sort of waiting it out, wants to wait uh, him for him to burn out like 
you know, any potential resources so that he could find a way of breaking in a little bit. But yeah. right now, Apollo just playing back. He's playing his dumb game. Ooh, good coverage. Ah, but I don't think he intended it to descend behind. He wanted to send it up and over the stage. Well, that spacing on the gunman was really, really good. Apollo yeah. just put themselves just through outside the explosive line. Unfortunately, uh, the gunmen don't reach completely across the stage, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't end up like having as much of an effect as you probably hope it would. Well, you telling me you don't want gunmen to actually shoot across the stage like by this new trophy? No, absolutely not. What do you mean? I think I think it would be kind of cool if Dalcon could zone you from all the way across the stage. <laughs> okay, if you say so. I think we're kind of high. As a matter of fact, it should also like chill break, but that's just me. Anyhow, um, cool right idea. now. Ah, uh, a little bit too late to convert off of the clay pigeon. Oh, they can. The optimal guy barely saving themselves. Oh my god. Like, like honestly, like, Zane was so prepared to deal with that. Ooh, clay pigeon into can. This, this character looks so cool sometimes. Like, I, every time I play it, like, see Doc I'm like, they got a big blue, you know? So this has been a very, sh a very long game <laughs> thus far. Just because neither of them could really like get the kill because Zane was not playing in any way that was opening themselves up to uh, to hit and Con Con just knew that uh, eventually the kill would come to them if they were careful. Did enough. you see that? How did the can come out in between the multi hits? Did it? I'm pretty, did sure, it... I'm pretty sure it's like a frame one spawn, isn't it? Yes, frame one spawn, but it's like not active until it will something something. But I'm yeah. really surprised that happened to begin with. And Clay Pigeon like coming in and clutch for me right now. Oh my goodness! This can placement is nuts! Ah, uh, it doesn't go for like, you know, an off stage down or anything. Had Zane not committed to the can before, um, that would have definitely been a free to claim with can, catching the jump this time. Wow. Zane, Zane making short work of that second stock. And a short indeed. I like the back there just to go for a little bit of stage control, almost working out. But that is so scary to be down in the can like that while you're stuck on ledge. You might just get hit by like the extended hitbox um, and find yourself getting spiked. Because Duck Hunt can do like down air to down air, which always looks so ridiculous. That being said, like once again, covering the ground with Gunman, covering the ground with Clay Pigeon, just dealing so much damage off these grabs. Yeah. Every one of these hits that Con, that Con, Con takes, it's gonna be. It's really risk. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, down third uh, to back air is still possible to do if they don't DI, or if they don't DI it out every single time. Yeah, or they just like simply don't press air dodge in time. Something along those lines. So, is the gunman targetable by auto reticle? Yes. Crazy! I didn't know that. Is it? Wait, I don't want to. I don't want to say that it is. I, no, I think I just saw like the gunman. The gunman actually draw the auto reticle. Fire, That's like, specifically. That is but hilarious. I'm not because auto reticle pointed straight down because the gunman wasn't in front of Palatin, as opposed to directly in front of her. Well, I guess I can ask Apollo after the set. But that being said, again going for that extended hitbox down, is, I think it's really really smart, but always just slightly mistiming it. <laughs> God, God is just getting chased by this cat. <laughs> this aluminum can is really the most threatening thing in this whole match. Oh my goodness, dude. What? All of your options were just like cover. Kong Han just like could not. I mean, I feel like a lot of times he kept trying to recover high. Um, and and Apollo just does a really really good job of catching jumps. Like I feel like that's the way they took like the other two stocks, right? like the, the especially the last one. Um, there's definitely been a significant number of stocks that Apollo's taken like that, where they just throw out the can and they're like, "You're going to jump in. I know you're going to jump in. I'm going to kill you with this." Mm -hmm. Because it's too easy to like, it's too easy to like just see the can coming at you and autopilot that option. I'll never forget the fact that they took their first stock at like at, at three minutes into the match, and then they um, and it was just it was almost a double uh, a double death. Ready? Oh, Bayonetta, May Mayonetta. Huh. Um, uh, maybe this is just like for comfort. Honestly, more than anything, um, I can't really see how Bayonetta would do better than than 
um, Palutena in this kind of a matchup? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think Palutena is probably like the better pick overall, but it might just be, it might be a question of comfort. It might be a question of being like, yeah, Apollo is like very comfortable, not comfortable, but is very experienced in this matchup, and I'm not the same, so right. I might have to rely on matchup and experience going both ways. I'm gonna say this too right now. Not only is Zane extremely comfortable fighting Bayonetta, but they also love Lilat as a stage. This is Humstow. such a good stage food dot com. Homestuff. Homes Homestuff gave, gave gave Apollo the experience. Are you talking about Jazzy G? Uh, oh Homestuff. Listen, Apollo understands Bayonetta like nobody else. I, I you know Apollo's been playing like a lot with Insomnia like the last few weeks. I do remember that as well. Um, oh cool. But, but I just do know that like like Apollo is everybody familiar with it. That being said, Concon still keeping it quite even. I'm just barely able to air dodge from that confirm in time. Was that an up air? Was that the last one of up air? <laughs> oh, got you. With uh, the way that they change your timer makes that like, you don't get all the time in the world to charge up to charge moves now, unless like they hit you with something super heavy. Yeah, right now I feel like Apollo's like pushing through that up a little bit. Um, Compound's almost falling into, but then like always like able to get the punishes. Good call out on the miss side B. Oh, the gunman not coming out quickly enough to keep Apollo from getting hit. And this is really this is Bayonetta's problem. What? The can didn't hit. Oh, okay. This is really Bayonetta's problem in this game is that yeah she can do damage like crazy if she catches you in uh, in one of her loops. But she's not gonna kill easily unless you uh, unless you give her the opportunity. And even then, while wow, that dash attack still is not able to kill right now, anything can kill Bayonetta. Back air forward, up air, you know, maybe back throw from Duck Hunt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a can drop on the on her head. Yeah, okay, I respect it. Good aerial heel slide from Con Con to get back onto the stage. Um. Yeah, All that's right. like something that you always have to respect from Bayonetta. Yeah, um, no, it's like, a very... She's she's kind of forced to, to choose between whether she's going to do the uh, the kick or not now in this game. I believe that changed from Smash 4, which she just do it towards the end or not. Uh, but it's still like a really big move. It still covers a lot of space, and if she hits you with it, you're going to take a lot of damage. You have to respect it. Yeah, Kong Kong right now is looking for that grounded AVK. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop doing that. Oh um, my goodness. Yeah, that move is extremely unsafe on shield. Um, up smash, you know, has like a nice little scoop up hitbox in the beginning of it. Really, really good on, you know, Zane just to be able to react and punish that, you know, optimally in time. Yeah, also, Zane's kind of on their snake ball right now. They're like, I'm gonna blow both of us up and you're not gonna Yeah. Uh, I will never say Aerial, uh, heel slide and ground it in UK again. I, I, I do that from time to time just to make people upset. Okay. Um, Con Con has not seen the light of the stage in quite some time. <laughs> taking 60 blue cents. This is looking super, super tough. And the clay pigeon actually knocking Apollo out of the grab. Con Con just can't seem to get anything started. That's nuts. Is that going to be the. No, that's too low. This is definitely a problem match to lose, and that's the first step toward losing it. Con Con has an opportunity now to bring it back now that it's uh, the last stop situation, but they have to play super defensively if they want to be uh, if they want to take this match. You know, speaking of super defensively, you just see him running up, shielding, running up, shielding, understanding that like the only thing Duck Hunt can really do to pressure that is just to start dashing and grabbing, which is extremely committal. Um, so yeah. Con Con is like slowly getting this chip damage in. But has to be so wary of the gunman. You know, can't take any risks with the spacing right now. That was oh, cool. the boss coming in and shooting Bayonetta in the face. How tragic. <sighs> oh, Luigi's is DQ'd out of losers. What? Hmm. What happened? What? Did he drop or did he just not check in? No clue. Let's go check Louis Jesus's Twitter. Oh, he's in the no. He he DQ'd because he's in the other bracket. Guys, don't do two brackets. All right, so I think we're gonna have um, I think we're just gonna proceed directly to winners finals from here, and then probably do either quarters finals of uh, 
Yeah, probably do quarters, finals, and then semifinals after that. Mm -hmm. So that's what we'll do next. I am going to quickly run back and get myself some Excel too. I'll be back in about half a second. So, sure. Excuse me. 